had about 12 mils of rain overnight. It has poured probably from about 10 p.m. all the way through to 8 a.m. So it's a little bit of a late start today. What is really good is after heavy rains, you generally have very, very low winds. And today, this morning, it is absolutely glass out there. So we have got one of the higher boats today. So I'm gonna be out fishing with the crew. We're gonna have Travis and Mark out with me. And as you can see behind me, we have got one of the higher boats again today. So this is gonna be very, very cool. I'm just gonna spin and pan around and you're gonna see how breathtaking it looks out there. There is not a ripple in the water. And as I said, we've got the higher boat today. So we're gonna jump in and we are gonna get our day started. Now, the only thing obviously is once you've had really heavy rain, you just don't know what that water clarity and water level is gonna be like. So we might have to do a few moves to find some clean water. Finally, we've got some pleasant conditions and fingers crossed me and uh, the boys behind me can get stuck into some cracking fish at Bem River. Let's get fishing. Uh, no, I'll get this. So. All I care about is getting that sim card out right now. It's refreshing. <laughs> so we thought we'd get some nice fancy drone footage for you guys at home watching. And the drone just plummeted straight in the water. And uh, Al had to dive straight in. And the second that I went in, the life jacket puffed up. And But anyway, we found it. And uh, took a little bit of work. And I'm drenched now. But you know what? We're moving into prime fishing windows. So, uh, I think we're gonna stick it out, freezing cold or not. And uh, we've recovered the drone, and hopefully the drone footage too. Brim? I hope so. If it is, it's gonna be a very decent one. Yeah, it's silver. Big silver. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Is that the other one or is that true? Ooh. All right, so there we go. So that is the first fish after having to jump in the water. <laughs> Whoa! What we'll do, sorry matey. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit smaller than this one. I might be able to... Yeah, he's smaller. I'll, do, I'll lift him up. <laughs> so you can hold them both up. Yeah, that's cool. There oh. we go, double. Bim River. So it's all about brim. This is what we're here for. We want to catch some big, big brim. And obviously look at the size difference in these ones, but two beautiful, beautiful fish. So we'll get this little guy on his way first. So see you, matey. And then what we'll do is we'll get the hook out of this fish here. And away he goes. Very nice. I don't know what it is. It's gonna come on this side, Mark. Alright, so I'm just going to turn around here, mate. Come on, come away. That's a fish, man. That is a big fish. It's almost like a trevally the way it's fighting, guys. That's a big one. That is a big fish. I can see silver. Oh, it looks like a big trevally. I'll just leave it there, you go to it. That's it. Oh! That's big. <laughs> That's it. Oh! <laughs> right as the battery die. Oh, oh man. God, they fight hard, don't they? Oh. Well, there you go. That was a lot of fun. Now, when you're fishing on the light stuff, it can be really hard to turn their head. So trevally fight much harder than obviously a lot of other fish of this sort of size. But what we'll do, let's just have a good look at him. 
That's an absolute cracker. That is a beautiful fish. And don't worry, these fish punch well above their weight. And we're using a little one or three kilo rod and you've got six pound line on there. You just got to play them nice and finesse. But I'll tell you what, they're really, really strong. It was really hard to turn their heads and they use the current to their advantage. But what a beautiful, beautiful fish. So what a day. So we're getting Trevally, Brim, uh, we've got Taylor. Got some really, really beautiful fish. And what we are gonna do is get this guy on his way and back in the water. But um, what a great catch. Let's let this beautiful Trevally go, guys. So in he goes. Come on. <laughs> and away he goes. Oregon. He's got the net. Oh, the net, mate. oh. Mm. come on. Mate, it's fighting hard if it's a brim, Mark. It feels like a brim. It's a bit like a good fish, man. Mate, if that's a brim, that's going to be a big one. It's not doing massive no, no, it's not like a Trevally or anything at all. Come on. It's not a brim. Yeah, they got. Yeah, it's a Taylor. Nice one, man. <laughs> That's a problem, they just don't lift their heads up. Here we go. <gasps> On the plastic? Yes! The big show is back! Well done, man. Awesome conditions. Beautiful tailor. Can't get much better than this. All right, there we go. Straight in. Off he goes. That's how it's done. Oh, holy shit. <gasps> what is this? Jesus. Just wheel and go the way. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the back, Trav, so we can, you know what? Just... The other one. Oh, what's just name? What's just name? Trip over. Oh, shit, this is a big fish. <sighs> That's it, and then you go back, and then, oh. That gets the heart skipping a few bits, I tell you, that went on a huge run. <clears throat> I don't know what this is. Mark, you're gonna have to be on net duty, mate. I'm gonna yeah, work. Well, 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 <laughs> yeah, actually. Right, just get uh, uh, I'm going that way now. Hold on a sec. Let's dance. It's got to be a Trevelli, it? <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be the fish of the... Of the... Oh, <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> oh, here no, it comes, here it comes, here it comes. I know. I... Oh, is that a big Trevelli? It's a big Trevelli, I reckon. <laughs> You're going to have to net it. I'm a spider web. Your rod is just your rod. Hey, Zook. It's a good one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Just get in a good position, Joe. Just bring it here. Oh. Bring it to the left. <laughs> oh my was probably God. bigger than that. Oh no. <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> 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 Oh, well, that was absolutely mental. So it's done uh, a few rounds of the boat. And unfortunately, I think we've collected about every single rod that we had out here. So, and um, it's not a huge fish, but the power on these things, they just go on huge runs. And look, I'm using a Stella 2500FK. So, I mean, this is like top of the line spin gear. And I'll tell you what, they really do challenge it in these waters and they use the current to their advantage. You can see, look at that. That's a beautiful fish there. So, um, Look at the patterns and the stripes on these ones. So they all look a little bit different and unique. And then you'll see there, there is the soft plastic in his gob. So uh, 
we'll get that plastic out of his mouth. I think we might be spending 10 minutes rearranging the boat here. And uh, who would have thought a little fish like that could cause so much chaos? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, very good. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Well, be steady, then. I, reckon I reckon that's a good fish. Oh. Because otherwise you just put too much pressure on your leaders. Just let them run. What's that on? Oh. The the oh, the hard body. Oh. The hard body. <gasps> Holy. Oh, yeah, that tongue's not going to be. Uh, well, my bent minnow's going under the. Oh, this is a good fish. At least I know I've got heavier leader on this one. Is that the one I tied or you? No, you... no, the... <laughs> no the one you tied, you, you put the leader through the wrong part of the <laughs> You sabotaged it. Oh, listen, listen to that sustain, man. Well, there is, there's the. Uh, you see colour yet? No, nah, but you can see it's it just there. Time, yeah. yeah, it keeps darting around. Could be a. Trevor. There's a line. What's that? There's a line floating yeah. all around here. Can't even see them. There we go. Alright, cool. That's what I'll do with this thing. Just. Uh, it's Trevally. Trevally? Yep. Alright. Got it? I'll just put it in yeah. the thing and then you just bring it over. Oh, yeah. Now they shred leaders, so you got to be real gentle here. This is where you lose them. That's a nice fish, man. Oh, Mark, oh, Mark, oh, Mark. Mark. Oh, Mark, you're the worst net boy. Oh, no, no, don't lift it. Oh, Mark. <laughs> oh, Mark. Jesus. Here you go, the hurricane. Jeez. Well done, matey. <laughs> Well done. That sun's coming down, and um, yeah, we're starting to get into a, a bit of a nice bite window here. And this fella decided to take a nice hard body lure in the surface, so we'll let him go and hopefully we'll uh, swim off to fight another day. Good fish, mate. Oh, good job, man. Well done. I don't know, man. It is just running and running and running. This is different to anything I've had on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, this is, what the hell is this, boys? I can't stop it. Holy shit. Um, we may have to chase this, man. I can't. Oh, it's just turned his head, he's just turned his head now. Holy shit. A big run. That was a big run. It was just funny, it was just. It's alright. It's alright. Maybe just swap or whatever, guys, but yeah. That's silver. Might be another Trevally. Jeez, they go hard, don't they? Far out, man. Look at the drag. That drag is fully locked. So if anyone at home thinks that we're just playing and taking these fish easy, we're not. They just punch way above their weight. Oh, it's going under the boat. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, you got this. Oh. They don't make it easy at this stage, do they? Here we go. Just got to try and lift their heads a little bit. The leader's going to be all frayed now. No, pop him up. Oh. <laughs> He's not much different than the one before. Oh, man, they fight hard, don't they? Yeah, oh, there we go. So there's another. Oh, how powerful was that first run? It just went bang and just took off. They just fight hard, man. They just fight really, really hard. It's crazy. You just, you think you've got something much, much bigger and much, much powerful. And all we're doing, working very, very slowly, is just those grubs and they absolutely love them and they smash them and what they do is they just use the currency to their advantage they just go on really really big runs 
really test that light gear. I'll tell you what, it's a lot of fun. Trevally's supposed to be top sashimi. He would have been eating really well, but we're letting all these beautiful fish go. So let's just do that straight away. Thank you, mate. They always make those weird grunting noises, Trevally. Yeah, they do, don't they? And then what we'll do is let's get this guy in the water. And away we go. Woo, Trevally town. I'm on. One. Yep, sleeper. Sleeper again. It's the outs it's the outstanding performer. A brim. Oh, nice brim, boys. Nice oh. brim. Look at this one. Beautiful brim. Oh. That's oh. a beautiful brim. Yeah, get the net for that one. Oh, you, you want me to do the net? Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not huge, but it's a nice fish either way. Oh, good job, buddy. <laughs> Great job, Mark. Thanks. It goes to show there's always room for improvement, mate. Well done. Positive attitude? No. Oh, you f***ing idiot. Game on, Oh, you shouldn't have done Game that. On. Fuck, the look of two eyes. I just went like, it was like that. Oh, you were a dead hey, man. <laughs> I'll be sleeping with one eye open. <laughs> oh my god, you did not like that. <laughs> I look of fear I in that's the eye. worst thing you could do. There we go, another beautiful little brim. So we're catching a few fish now, which is awesome. So again, love these beautiful fish, so we want to get them back in the water ASAP. And we can swim away. I was waiting for a foot in my head then. It's a small brim city, this part here. It's not tiny, but... Oh, you getting one as well? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yes, nice that's a better fish. Alright, brim in the water. Whoo, that was a... I got that take too, Mark. Feeling it, but it's definitely Trevally. Well, it's running everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you got no rods in the mines over there, so you'll be fine. Yeah. Good work, mate. Look at the teamwork. The grub freak. Oh, the light gear is so good here, isn't it? They're hard to pull their head off. Come on. <coughs> Big hit. Got him. Ooh. All right, what do we got? Yeah. Well, it's a nice broom, I think. It's a bit bigger. Yay. There is another beautiful brim out here in the shallow flats. Just look how healthy they are. Look at the coloration, just so bright and silver. And what we are gonna do is get this beautiful big fish straight back in the water. So again, on that grub. Alrighty, and here we go. See you later, matey. Away swims away. So silver, look at the colours. Oh, nice job. There you go. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. That's another brim. Oh. 
weight on this thing is insane. Is it? I don't know, man. I thought it was. I saw big silver. I've got my own line. It's all right. I'm not. I still want to lose a fish. Have a look at this for a backdrop to end the day. That is absolutely spectacular. The scenery there, you got the sun coming down. That there is a picture postcard. Absolutely amazing. Probably got about 10 minutes of daylight. And we might get stuck into a few more fish. Well, that's a wrap everyone. And what an insane day it's been out here. Estuary fishing on the Bem River. We've gone up and we've gone down. Fishing near the surf up further in the mouth entrance. Man, we've caught some really cool fish. Lots of Trevally, lots of brim, a few tailor. It's really been an action packed today. We've had some highs and lows, but I tell you what, there's been some awesome fish caught amongst it. Can't wait to get back out tomorrow and get a few more. Anyway, guys.